We pray that the Lord you are going and touch our lives. We surrender to you again. Take over God. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now I'm about to get you. Now I'm about to get you. Oh my father, my father. I give you all the glory. All the praise and give you all the honor to all the hand. And we have to check on the Pramaja Mabi Man. We were two, we were two in our Kutamani, we were two in our Kuita Yesu, Yasikan of Kuru. Shina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. I just want to pick from where I stopped. The online summit that has just ended. And I want us to know that when we worship God, God will deliver us from pestilence. The pestilence is something that comes with a lot of power to devour, to destroy, and to bring great harm in the lives of people. But Moses said, We want to go into a three days journey so that we may worship the Lord. We may sacrifice to the Lord. And uh, that decision of sacrifice, sacrificing, worshiping, is a not of Dedicating yourself to God in terms of time, offering, and even your body for the service of God. And I want to show you what happens when people worship God. There is not kind of an establishment of God's covenant with his people. When the people choose to worship him, he has an establishment of a covenant with them. And the God said, these are my people. I have chosen them. That's why Jesus said, you never chose me, but I chose him. You never chose God, but God chose him. So, when you dedicate yourself to worship God, God will come and make a covenant with you. And a covenant is an agreement between two people or an agreement between two parties. So God 
when he establishes a covenant with you through sacrifice through worship it shall remain forever it shall remain forever so this time this is all those who choose to worship God God will establish a covenant with them he will stand with them he will live with them he will he will live with them he will stand for them and he will preserve them see you see uh, when, when Noah gave of every clean animal he gave of every clean flower the Lord came down and established a covenant with Noah he said I establish a covenant with you and your generation let me read briefly in the name of the Lord Genesis chapter uh, chapter 7 sorry I want to read verse 23 and every living thing was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground both man and the cattle and the creeping things and the power of the heaven and they were all destroyed from the earth and the Lord only remained alive and the they who were with him in the ark then I will read the next chapter chapter 8 verse 3 And the Lord built an altar unto the Lord, and they took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and they offered burnt offerings of the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet smell. And the Lord said to his heart, I will not again cause, cast the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of, of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore every living thing as I have done. While the earth remain in the seed time and harvest time and cold time and heat time and the sun and the window and day and night shall not cease. When Noah escaped the pestilence of the mighty rain and the destruction of every living thing whether from the animal department from the flowers fowls department every living creature whether humanity or animal they all died because of the storm no chose to remain in the worship and they decided to choose every clean animal and every clean flower and they dedicated them on the altar in other words he took some time to worship God and they established God an altar and a sacrifice and then the pestilence you know not building the ark was was an act of sacrifice he dedicated himself to god and to the service of god even during a time of mocha no was so much mocked and despised because he was alone he was in his family building the ark and if anybody was about the art building, they resisted, they refused, they mocked. And the Noah was not ashamed of the gospel, was not ashamed of the worship. He dedicated himself.
to worship the Lord in the season and out of season and even after the destruction of everything the economy was already down the economy was already destroyed there was not enough animals there was not enough fireworks there was not enough money but Noah decided to build God an altar and on top of that altar make a sacrifice that was an act of worship and the beast man Noah could be connected to God and God man a covenant with Noah praise the name of the Lord and the one covenant was I will no longer destroy the earth as I have done God was making a covenant with Noah in his time and in the time to come in his generation and in the generation to come God said I will no longer again destroy the earth as I have done praise the name of the Lord so when you sacrifice unto the Lord God will always make a covenant with you receive power to sacrifice to God you know this issue of sacrifice it's a very hard thing to sacrifice when you don't have money you don't have a job utasema mungu anaelewa mungu anaelewa mungu anaelewa sina kasi mungu anaelewa kumepauka mungu anaelewa hakuna hakuna kasi mungu anaelewa kanisa imefungwa mungu anaelewa let me tell you god does not understand <laughs> Hallelujah. God does not understand. God is looking for people who are ready to stand for the gospel. Who are ready to stand in the season and out of season. So, Noah dedicated himself to the Lord to worship, to sacrifice even after great massacre, even after great destruction. Even after great loss, even after great mighty rain that devoured everything, that devoured all the animals, that devoured every human being, that devoured every house and every home because the, land, the waters stripped everything. The land was bare, the land was desolate, the land had no nothing, everything, everything living was destroyed. Everything living was destroyed. But after such, Noah decided, I will create an altar for my God. I will raise an altar for my God. So when you choose to worship, worship will bring you establishment of God's covenant in your life, for your life, and for your family, and the generation behind you by the preservation of the covenant because of the sacrifice that is why Elijah said to the woman and if you bring unto me God will preserve you and then your children until this season is over until this season is over I want us to have a good you will be preserved until this season is over. There is a covenant released to the people who understand sacrifice. There is a covenant established to the people who discover the act of sacrifice. We don't sacrifice because we are much. We sacrifice to obey God, to follow God, and to be obedient to His word. Praise the name of the Lord. First Kings. So, as, as you read, I want you to know the covenant that God raises is for you and for your generation 
when, when Abraham gave his only son, the Bible said, and God came down and said to Abraham, you will, you will be blessed. In blessing you will be blessed. In multiplication you will be multiplied. And you are seed shall possess the gates of their enemies. Your seed shall possess the gates of your enemies. And the time came, that time, God tested Abraham to give his only seed. And he gave that seed. Look here, before he got that seed, before he got Isaac, even when he had no Isaac, he gave. And the giving attracted God's covenant. And the Bible said, and God said, because you have given me a neighbor, you have given me a dove, you have given me a sheep, you have given me a goat, and a tattooed dog, I tell you what will happen. You will have a seed, and your seed will be as a child in a land that is not theirs. But I, I have a covenant with you. This, the land where you lie home, I make a covenant with you that this land will be your land and your generation behind you and their generation behind them. And this land is for you and for your generation forever and ever. The covenant of sacrifice. The covenant of sacrifice. So much. First King 17. Verse 38. Verse 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Go and do as you have said. But make me therefore a little cake first. And bring it unto me. And after that, make one for your son. For thus says the Lord, God of Israel, Bible say 
and the Lord saw the grounding of Israel and their children. Let me, let me, Exodus 6, verse 5, or verse 4. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, for I am the Lord. No, 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 that's fine. I have also had the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and have remembered my covenant. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will bring you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out hand with the great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and you shall know that I am the Lord, your God, which brings you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you into a land concerning the which I did serve, to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and I'll give it for you for an inheritance. I am the Lord. Now, when you choose to worship, to honor the Lord, and to sacrifice him to him, then he will remember and see you are growing. You know, a time like this, I tell you, people are really suffering. There are people that now as I speak, they don't know what to eat. They have not received any coin in their pocket. In, in terms of employment, because their jobs were stopped, they were terminated from working. You know why? If the company collapsed, if the organization collapsed, how can they receive employment or how can they receive salary? You know, those who are working may think that things are okay, things are not okay. Those who are receiving monthly payment every month you are receiving, don't think that everyone is receiving monthly payment. Those who are seeing income in their business, don't think all business are bringing money. There are people who businesses collapse. They are there every day, but they can't count any coin because people who they depend, majority of them, were jobless. So, in such a time of groaning, it is such a time of honor. It is such a time of sorrow and a pain. The Lord will remember His covenant. The Lord will see your drowning. The Lord will see your pain. The Lord will see your sorrow. As you continue worshiping Him, as you continue waiting on Him and seeking Him, He will be found of you. You will see Him appear. He is God and He has not changed. He is powerful. God. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 Am I talking to you? Praise the name of the Lord. Am I talking to you? May the Lord remember you in the days of your sorrow. May the Lord remember you in the days of your drowning. May the Lord remember you because of the covenant. It makes because of you choosing to worship it in season and out of season. Praise the name of the Lord. When we remember them, what tells did he say? He will make them his people and he will be their God. If the Lord be your God, you will see the manifestation of his power. 
Hallelujah. And you shall know the people who know they are God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. So when God said, you will be my people and I will be your God. Let me tell you, if you be a people of God, it doesn't matter what comes your way, you will be victorious anyway. It doesn't matter what stands before you. If God be for us, who can be against us? Oh, no we confession against us. That will be able to stand. Let me tell you, God will be with you. Even in times of darkness, He will show the light. You will move. You will penetrate. Because God is on your side. And the backing of heaven stands behind you. You cannot lose the battle. You will win the battle. Because you are a people of God. And God is your God. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say amen. And the reason God said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Hallelujah. You may think that you are Lord. You are not a Lord. That is why Shadrach and Misha were able to dance in the fire. They were thrown in the fire to die. But they never died. Because Jehovah was in the clear in their midst. He said, I will be your God. And you will be my people. If you are a God's people, you cannot be destroyed by anything. Because God is watching over to give you victory over every challenge. To give you victory over every disaster. To give you victory over every pestilence. Hallelujah. God is giving you victory over every pestilence. It is you just not faith in God. Wait on God. Depend on God. Hallelujah. God has not left you alone. God will not leave you alone. That is why he came to the, to the pool. And there in the pool, there was a man waiting for 38 years. He was waiting for a miracle. As much as you are waiting for a miracle, God is coming for you. God will show you. Yeah, it's miracles. You are not alone. You may be weak. You may be full of infirmities. You may be full of disasters. You may be full of speaking. But let me tell you, if God be for you, you will stand and declare, God is God in your life and in your, in your generation. Somebody say amen. 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 And then you know what? If the Lord be your God, He will take you from your problems. He will take you from your burdens, And He give you a, a place to stay. A place to celebrate. A place to enjoy. A the miracles of God. Just wait. Just wait. It's just a matter of a time. It's just for a while. You are about to testify what the Lord can do and what the Lord will do. Don't be discouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen, you too. Hallelujah. He will come and take away your burdens. Even if you are here and you are burdened, may the Lord take away that burden today. In the name of Jesus, I say, may the Lord take away that burden from your neck. It shall come in that day by the anointing. Every yoke shall be broken and every body shall be taken out of the anointing because of the anointing.
shall be lifted and you shall be free from darkness because God is coming to give you rest. Come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, and I am heavy laden, and I will give you rest and you shall find you rest for you are so. Hallelujah. 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 
When you turn your hammer will come and take everything that belongs to you. And then Anasema, Chimbiene ya kaburi yapa. Ata niya na onyesha mani plasipa. Na pesa yaka atakula yote. Mikuwa ni mjasho. Kikusanya pesa. Siku hile utakala. Itaena na mtu mingine. You see, people are very busy. They are forgetting God. Very busy. Kasi. Na hiyo ni ono ya badao Umetua watu kwa kasi yao Unawambia waende ibada Unawambia waende kumuwa kwa mamudu kumu Siku tatu Wataenda pani hawezi kumamudu hapa And you know You know Egypt was a nation of idols A nation of idol worshippers So if they see people of God worshipping their God They will stone them And they kill them and the soul, their worship could not be completed. But you see, Moses resisted what Padao said. And they said, we must go a three days journey to worship our God and to sacrifice our God. We must dedicate ourselves. We must stop work for a while and go to worship our God. We cannot work for our life. Our mother's work they died without anything. Our, 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 our people before us what? and they died, all of them, and they, we don't see anything in the air. Now, we have to break the circle. We must go and worship our God. Come on, somebody. Receive power and grace to worship your God. Utajipata kwa ibada peke yako Kuzi akikisha Akikisha Umeendelea na ipaka Ito amikono yako sema ni taendelea na ipaka Ni taendelea na ipaka Wapende wa sipende Wanicheke wa sinicheke Waninalao wa sinikalao Mimi ni taendelea na ipaka Kasi ni sawafana kasi Lakini ni kasi ya kufanya Monday to Sunday Lavu, haule nafasi ya kuomba Unaomba hile ya kienyeje Mwana naenda kulala ni nini Jyo usiku na nyomba Jyo usiku na mamiwa Halo Am I talking to you? Hallelujah Alavu, alavu shetani Anabusukuma kwa kona tu 
siku moja uitane ukute sasa una nguvu ndio nasema na Samson hakujua kama Mungu amemwacha Mungu anaweza kuacha mtu Mungu anaweza kuacha taifa Mungu anaweza kuacha maeneo Mungu anaweza kuacha watu na watu wengi saa hii wataacha na watarudi nyuma kwa sababu wengi wao hawana nafasi na ibada Naomba Mungu akusaidie usiache ibada to God and to his worship When you penetrate in dedicating yourself to God and worship you will see things happen in your life and that you will never be disappointed Paul said all that could help me I counted as nothing for the sake of Christ for the sake of Christ when you have Christ in you you are everything may the Lord help you and bless you in the name of the Lord Father we thank you Father we bless you